So we have another day and another example of Justin Trudeau flat out stealing from us. Airplane food bill tops $220,000 on Trudeau's six-day Indo-Pacific trip, which was taken by him last September. This is just a quick video. I thought we'd just watch this video instead of me just reading an article. So, um, yeah, it's just a minute long, and then what we're going to do is we'll break it down like usual after. Uh, speaking of Trudeau not helping his image, is this, this article that came out in the National Post that details the cost of Trudeau's airplane food from his Indo-Pacific trip back in September. Are you ready for it? Sure. Why not? Okay. $220,000 in catering on the plane. Just on the plane? Just on the plane. Just on the plane alone. Six okay. days. Six-day trip. Mm -hmm. uh, upwards uh, is, uh, at, at different times there's 50 to 75 people on that plane at different times mm -hmm. I did some math Jeff okay and the, the math is not math and well, they say okay let's just go on the high end 72 people on that plane for six days mm -hmm. that's three thousand dollars a person a day no three thousand dollars per person five hundred dollars a person a day no one needs that kind of mm -hmm. meal the three meals up, coming in at five hundred dollars a day mm -hmm. that's that's crazy. That's a little much. It's a yes, little high. Yeah. Yes, a little rich, I think, for a lot of uh, taxpayers. Well, not only is it rich for taxpayers, but... Sorry about that. So, yeah, like, not only is it rich for taxpayers, it, it's insulting to taxpayers because you have a guy who has basically taxed us into poverty while he goes on a plane and gets $220,000 worth of catering Forget what the, what it costs for him to take the trip and all the fancy hotels and the meals he had there. Just on the plane. I mean, this this guy's eating like a king while taxing us into being poor. You know what's funny about this is when every time you mention like a, a a liberal or a Trudeau scandal to the liberals, like applauding a Nazi or stealing our money or committing treason. They all just have some weird excuse like, oh, I don't believe that or, oh, it was just a misunderstanding. But then they'll say things about like the right wing or specifically like Trump, like, oh, Trump could do anything and these clowns will never stop supporting him. OK, fair point. What will it take if you're a liberal and you're listening to this for some reason? What would it take for you to stop uh, supporting Justin Trudeau? Right, because if you're going to criticize the right for doing it, that must mean by logic that you don't do that. Because it would be weird to say, well, I don't like what you're doing, and then do the same thing. So tell me. Treason, scandals, theft, corruption, incompetence. What else do you need to, to stop supporting him? Yes, his, his polling numbers are, it actually looks like they're going down. Angus Reid just had him at 21%, basically tied with the NDP at 20%. They showed some... Uh, how many, like a graph of how many seats each party is going to win. And Pierre Polyev is projected to not only come in first, but win a majority. Then the bloc would actually come in second and be the official opposition, which is kind of funny. And then you'd have the NDP at third. And then just behind the NDP would be the Liberals. If an election were held today, they would come in fourth place in terms of seats. But there's still 20% of people who are going to vote for the guy. So to you, to the 20%, what would it take? I have a feeling I'm not going to get a good answer. But you, you again, you, you, you tell me, right? I mean, $220,000 for catering for six days. Well, he taxes you into poverty. Okay. So I've just listed just a few scandals off the top of my head. So we'll see what kind of response I get. Now, this article was from the National Post as well, which I believe is a... Is it the National Post or the Canadian Post, which is more of like a liberal, you know, left-leaning, um, it's a, a, like a left-leaning uh, new, uh, news company. So even they're exposing it. You see, even with the CTV now, they used to be pretty liberal supporting too. Well, now you see Vasi Kapilo, uh, Kapilos just tearing the NDP and the liberals to, shred, to shreds every time uh, she has them on her episode. Or her show, rather. So, 
seems like the tide's turning. Maybe even the, the mainstream media is losing faith in him. So they're losing faith in him, but you're not? Let me know in the comment section. And I appreciate all you guys who watch this video and who do comment. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly.